disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. What about you? Why do you like VTubers? Assuming that you do. Okay, okay, yeah, watch VTubers. Why I like them? Let's see. VTubing can be a shelter for those that need it. In the world of VTubing, you're free from the threats that tie you from becoming who you want to be. You can choose how you look, how you act, and just be able to reinvent yourself. I know that my editing videos uh, literally zoomed the whole part into my face because I know I know myself. I know my future self. I know how I edit my videos. Yeah. And uh, sometimes I force myself to you. So yes. But at the same time, editing me? Yeah. You don't. Don't. I did. Don't. Just this once. I did. Fish you. I completely forgot. If I me. ask again, then ignore me there. No. Hello, Aich. And uh, have, have a good uh, learning. And also welcome to basically how how VTubers actually are off stream. The game. What kind of basic wipe was that? I plopped down on my chair and laid the contents of my plastic bag on my desk. As I, open, as I open the plastic bag casing of my meal, I stare at the cover of the magazine. Mana's face adorns the front cover with her signature winking peace sign. I can't imagine that whoever is behind Mana might actually be a completely different person. And if that was the case, would that necessarily be a bad thing if that was by choice? If the Mana persona is used to become another someone that they want to be, then that's fine. Isn't it? If that wasn't the case, how could someone not want to be a mana? She's basically perfect in the eyes of the VTuber community. She's a pillar of strength and proof that you can make it to the top with talent and hard work. I recall what Makoto, I would not say this last name, told me earlier about her success being a result of luck and timing. There's no way that's completely true. The reason she's so successful is because she's so amazing. How can anyone ignore that fact? I don't think there's much point in thinking about this if, though. Mana is someone who's out of reach for any of us, especially someone like me. The most interaction you can get from her is a verbal reading of your donation. The amount of attention is enough. It's selfish and delusional to think that you can get any more than that. I pulled down the magazine and flipped through some VTuber streams to occupy myself for the rest of the day. VTuber Connection. I set up from my desk content as I think about the productivity of my day so far. I've managed to make a sizable dent in my gaming backlog while not missing a single second of the VTuber streams I wanted to check out. Ah, gaming while watching. Nice. Unfortunately, the limitations of the human body are preventing me from going further, as my body tells me that it's time to eat. I remember what Makoto, say, Makoto told me the day prior. It's almost time for her to be at the store. Well, I have to go get food anyway. I might as well check if she's uh, there. The sun once again bears my eyes with its rays of light as I step outside for the first time today. The storefront slowly comes into vision as I approach. I don't see Makoto anywhere. Did I just miss her? No, I'm pretty sure I just deluded myself into thinking that she would want to meet me with me again. I guess I'll just get my food and head back. Hey! I heard the familiar voice of someone who sounds like they've given up hope in the world. Ouch! Oh, Makoto. I saw you're looking disappointed. Did you think that I already left? Did you miss me that much? The only disappointment I get from life is when VTubers cancel their streams. Or get cancelled on board. Oh, sounds like a satisfying life if that's the only thing that disappoints you. What brings you back here? Oh, you know, that thing your body does when you haven't eaten. 
I also wanted to check out the new jump chapters. Ah. You mean you wanted to get this? Makoto looks down at the stands. Her eyes on the last edition of Jump available. <laughs> Is she going to mess with me again and take it? <laughs> Curses, store manager. Why do you not restock your shelves? No, that's not the one I meant. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take it then. Wait, no! Sure, sure. You can have it. I can remember the last time I had the chance to catch up to manga. Makoto gives me a somber tone. Is it because she's too busy? She has the time to talk to me like this. And I would, and I would imagine she has the time to catch up to manga. Which manga do you read? I read a lot. Well, used to. But I would like to catch up with Heroes of the Sky. I have the volumes for those if you'd like to borrow them from them. Makoto looks at me weirdly, as if I'm misunderstanding something. Sure, I'll take you up on that offer. Don't spoil anything before then, though. I'll murder you. Well, you already act like you have nothing to lose. You might very well do it. How rude. I haven't given up on everything yet. There are plenty of things still worth living for. Like cute enemy girls. <laughs> <laughs> and that amazing parfait at the cafe down the street. Mm, somebody has the priority straight. Right. Well, you know what they say. Suffering is how you know. You're still alive. And you can appreciate the happy moments even more as a result. Just because something's comparatively better doesn't actually make it better, does it? I don't know. Is it all comparative? One person's level of suffering might be another person's regular level of living. True. Maybe my suffering is just a state of being for me at this point. That's how you're going to interpret it? Our conversation is interrupted by the sound of my stomach. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you from getting food. No, that's alright. You also probably shouldn't just stand around here. Do you want to um, head to the park just up ahead after I get some food? Mass suddenly warms across Makoto's face. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, stop making it weird. I'm quite a busy person, but I guess I'll spare the time to stay with you so you aren't lonely. I'm sure you'll spend your time very wisely. Hmm, ah! what was that? Mm, nothing. I grabbed some rice balls, tea, and the last copy of the jump magazine on the shelf and take them to the counter to check out when I come back to Makoto when I come back out Makoto is just staring out in the distance lost in thought what are you up to? you know existing sounds rough I've got what I wanted to buy so we can go now this street feels familiar we head down the street to the nature park ahead Makoto stares right ahead, but it doesn't seem like she's focusing on the scenery in front of her. I realize I know next to nothing about her, let alone what she could possibly be thinking about. We arrive at the walkway next to the park's lake and stare at the surface of the water. Okay, this also looks very familiar. But at the same time... It's also look nice. As I'm eating my rice balls, I think about how I can get to know Makoto better. Say, do you also go to Numazu University? Huh? Makoto breaks her focus and turns to me. Oh, you do? I do. Can't say I'm particularly a fan of studying and attending classes, though. There are people out there who are fans of that. If you're passionate about what you study? Then sure. I'm mainly just doing it because society is so adamant about sending everybody to get a higher education and so that I can have some security in the future. Can't say I'm particularly passionate about what I'm re read from these textbooks. No, I get that. I can't say I'm particularly passionate about the topics in class either. Most of my passions lie outside of what I do in class. And they are... Anime, video games, VTubers. Anime, manga videos and the types of inspirational and heartwarming stories and characters that are portrayed are ones that can get from other mediums. 
So basically the, the thing that I just said. Which was uh, as well, of course. Being able to share in those experiences is also nice. Consuming creative media lets me experience journeys, feelings and thoughts from others that I normally wouldn't be able to experience on my own. So you're what they call an otaku. Ah, <laughs> very funny. I'm sure that that concept is very foreign to you. The Western version is called Weep. And like that wasn't obvious enough already from the conversations we've had. Sorry, please don't talk to me anymore. Her tap and delivery of that line gets a laugh out of me. No, but that's something I completely don't understand. You're able to make a profound connection with something or someone, even if they might be fictional. What about you? What are you passionate about? Me? Hmm. Because I like the same things you mentioned as well. Hmm. But if I had to describe it, I like creating things as a way to share my own experiences and convey my feelings. Like a VTuber would? There are just some things I can not convey through words alone, and being able to create things and be shared it with others. When I draw that piece of art, of that one scene that resonates with me, or sing that song about an experience that I wish to convey, I'm able to express myself and hopefully make that connection with others. When I'm able to bring happiness to others by doing so, then that's fulfilling in ways that words can't do justice. So, it's a bit similar to what I said, but from the creator's side. You draw and sync, no? Sync, draw, dance, voice, act, make content. Can't say I'm particularly great at any of it, though. Mmm, I see making content. Mmm, you sound like you're a VTuber. Haha, <laughs> okay, I should stop. Wow, that's a lot. I'm curious, no. Can I see what kind of stuff you make? Yeah, not in a million years. Ouch. I understand, though. It really is one of the best feelings though, when something that you created is able to touch the hearts of the people who experience it. Wait, all of Makoto's ways of expressing herself are typically those that VTubers also have. Hmm, I wonder. She also has the courage to put herself out there, and she uh, herself mentioned that VTubers are a way of, for people to express themselves. Hmm. If you put one and one together, you get two. Or eleven. Depends on who you ask. But she be... No, the chances are pretty small. Statistically speaking, anyway. And I can't imagine someone who's as jaded as her would be one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And even if she was, it's not like she was. She would say that she was. Yeah. You know, if you think about it, once we are gone from this world, we would only have those that remember us to have a lasting impact on the world. Say, hey, don't you feel like the way that VTubers make money is simultaneously humanizing and dehumanizing? In what ways? In a way, VTubers sell their personality by streaming. It's like they are the product. Their income is determined by how much people like them, which depends on their personality. It's almost like they're being assigned a monetary value to who they are. Like people who make less money are worth less as people. That's just not true at all. That's a dehumanizing part of it, right? What's the humanizing part? YouTubing allows you to express yourself and do the things you want to do. You make money by connecting with people. Alternatively, could be pulling a lever as a job. Not that there is anything wrong with pulling a lever as a job. Pull the lever, conk! There might be a need for that, but it feels a lot more human to be able to express yourself as a job. That's true, but the dehumanizing part is such a negative way to few things. People have different preferences in who they might want to support. Just because a VTuber doesn't appeal to a wide audience doesn't mean they are less valuable as a person. No, I agree. I'm just pointing out that it can seem that way. I don't actually believe in myself. There are so many amazing VTubers out there 
that are struggling to get by. I know that I, at the same point, I did something in, in, my, in the highlight video, which <laughs> editing me, don't you even dare now. <laughs> we did this once, we don't do it again, okay? <laughs> Shut up! And that there are others I know that have such an amazing community to support them, despite how broken the VTuber might be. <coughs> Some what? I'm curious to know who she's talking about, but it's probably better not to ask her or no. Sometimes it feels like Makoto has such a negative outlook on things, but then sometimes it feels like she has absolute trust in others. There's still too much I don't understand about her. But I guess that's to be expected. We've only just met each other. I can't be conceited to think I'll understand her right away. Hmm? Why are you staring at me? Oh, I must have been staring at her while thinking to myself. Have you been charmed by all my good points? Oh yeah, of course. You have that um, realistic view on life. And uh, very unique eyes. Oh, you're too kind. I'm sure every girl you meet is instantly falls for you once they know how good guy you are at complimenting. But I prefer to say that my eyes show how I've learned the cruelties of the world. Huh. See, would you rather be innocent and have never experienced the cruelties of the world? Or would you rather be someone who lived through it and is wiser as a result? I'd like to be the one who managed to learn about everything without having to go through the hardships. Don't be hard. Like, for real. What do you even do all day to look so tired? What do I do? That's a secret. You haven't reached the high enough bond, bond level with me yet to unlock that. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting my, myself a cheat engine. What? Okay, what level am I at right now? Then, on level 8. Huh. Wait, that's pretty good, isn't it? Out of 100. Never mind. Okay, yeah, I figured. Sorry, I missed the digit. Out of 1,000. Okay, now you're making crap up. Hey, isn't that a bit harsh? Is this, is this one of those pay-to-win systems that you can't just pay to skip everything? <laughs> 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 okay, we have a gotcha here. What kind of bond level are you getting this time? Ah, you get plus two. Ah, sadly. Okay, you you roll a second time. And... Ah... I'm sorry, you have to go one, one down. <laughs> sure, but it's a... <laughs> Why did I predict this so good? <laughs> Give me 10,000 yen for every 1% chance to skip to max bond level. 99% chance to drop down to level 0. <laughs> okay, we don't go that far. Oh, these words seem familiar. I think I've seen them in the project game I've played. Honkai Genshin. Yes, or two. Okay, Star Wars, which comes out uh, next week, what? Is there a pity system? A bullying again for a guarantee. Yeah, I think I'll stick to my usual gacha games. I think I prefer the 2D world. You have a girl in front of you offering you these secrets of her heart. And you turn her down for some 2D waifus. Now listen to me here, young lady. You are a 2D lady for me. So, <laughs> um, and wait, <laughs> the secrets of your heart involve me playing you, paying you money, and I thought we were just talking about what you spend your time on. Is this weird to, to, to say that word? Also, don't you dare editing me. You don't understand the heart of a maiden, do you? What kind of maiden tries to extort money from an innocent soul? I can give you many examples. 
You are anything but innocent. You've always admitted to playing gacha games. What's wrong with gacha games? They lure you in with all these desirable characters that you expect to be able to collect. Then they hit you with predatory practices to make you spend money. Because you can't get enough resources to get all the characters you want by being free to play. Are you speaking from experience? No, I know right from the start that it would be a futile effort to be free to play. That's why I started spending money right away. <clears throat> right. Your chan wasn't going to wait for me until her next banner. And I'm guessing you also spent on duplicates so you could max her out. No, no, no. That can wait until her next banner. But I, chan on the other hand... Stop, stop, my fragile college student finances are crying out in pain right now. I barely have enough to support my favorite VTubers as it is. Hey, think about yourself first. You don't need to donate in every stream or buy every single piece of merchandise to show your support. Yes, that's true. What? A model that I learned from a different VTuber. Before spending the money to this weird interdimensional traveler, you should always think about yourself. If you know, okay. But I have enough buffer for the whole month. Okay, good. I pay a little. I give my favorite VTuber, streamer, YouTuber, whatever, a little bit of that. It's not much because I have a bigger buffer, so it's good. Many of them would be happy just with you showing up and listening in. Yeah, that is why also in the starting soon screen video, I also have the thing with how to support or actually also in the panel where it says if you, there are monetary ways to support me by, well, by, by, by merch, the stuff in the shop, in the merch shop, shop donating subscribing with Twitch Prime which is also by the way free <clears throat> well if you have Twitch Prime of course or Amazon Prime and of course number one is just watching just being here just having a nice time doesn't matter if lurk or not well it's not like I'm missing out on many meals because I'm spending money to support them I just want to be able to support them whenever I can Honestly, the support I give isn't nearly enough as what VTubers have given to me. <clears throat> All the meaningful experiences I've had. As well as just having a place I can go for comfort. This isn't something that I can just put a monetary value on to repay. Hmm. Makoto seems surprised that I make that too personal. I guess most people would be creeped out that I spend a lot of money, my money on VTubers. I'm sure those VTubers feel the same way. What do you mean? That you've also provided something for them that they feel is undeserved or that they won't ever be able to repay. <coughs> really? But I mainly lurk with the occasional chatting here and there. I figured I would just be another number to them. That's not true at all. I'm started by the abrupt shift in her tone. Let me guess. Just because there's a number attached to a person doesn't mean that people just look at just the number and just go, oh, there's a new number. No, they just mean, hey, there's a new person. Which is why I'm, always, I'm also always surprised when people just, for example, come here, have a little chat, and then fall. Because, hey, for me, it means I like what I see. But I bring them. And again, I think this is what is now happening now. Views aren't just a number to VTubers. I said it. They might not know every single name of their supporters. But the connection that VTubers from form with their viewers is meaningful. I refuse to believe that the community they've built together is something that can't just be described as a statistic or a way for the VTuber to collect a paycheck. Ah, I just remember someone who's basically like that. Hmm. Thinking about it, it's not too uncommon to hear that content creation is just a job to VTubers and that you shouldn't get too attached to them. 
But Makoto is right. There's no way that the relationship can be described like that. No, you're right. I don't believe that either. I can't fully describe the, the feelings I have about that connection, but I'm sure that it isn't as shallow as being a statistic. Makoto seems to have calmed down. Sorry for getting angry. It's alright. Honestly, I'd rather, I'd rather you have your own beliefs that you're passionate about than the passive and and be passive and agree with everything I say. I've had interaction where it's obvious that the person just goes with the flow or of whatever I say and doesn't have all that many thoughts of their own. I get that sometimes they just want to come off as nice, but I don't feel like the conversation goes anywhere. That's why talking with Makoto feels like a breath of fresh air. Understood. I'll proceed to push all my beliefs onto you from now on. Please don't. I still have some hope for the world. I'll be only slightly. But I still don't want my outlook to become as bleak as yours. Come on, I've told you. I prefer to say that I have a more realistic view. And besides, look at me. I manage to smile through the pain every day. Thing is how you're able to joke around and I can tell you're doing a great job. We both laugh after realizing how silly our conversation has been. I did say before that I tried to support VTubers when I'm financially able. If there's one pain I'm unable to smile through, it's that I missed out on Mana's half year anniversary merchandise. That haunts me every day. Hmm? You mean the pain mat, acrylic stand, keychain and post postcard? Yeah. I was able to get everything later from third party sellers, except except the limited hand sign postcard. It doesn't exist for sales in for sale anywhere. Legitimated ones at least. Makoto, you want to say something here? I could give you one if you want. Huh? Have one I could give you. One what? You're playing dumb or something? <laughs> The hand signed postcard, I have an extra one laying around that I could give you. Who just has an extra limited time hand signed postcard from one of the biggest VTubers just laying around? I wonder if somebody who accidentally bought two. That can't happen. Um, I guess you could call me a big fan. You want it or not? Well, of course I want it, but I can't just take it for free. That's okay, I don't need your money. Are you low-key trying to flex on me? Instead, you can get on your knees and beg for it. Hey, people are into that, you know that? Okay, that's totally worth it. <clears throat> on the point that Shoma is kind, kind of relatable, or this whole game is kind of relatable, this is one thing that I just go... No. Just no. I start to fold my knees and lower myself to the ground. <laughs> Wait, stop! <laughs> Not actually do it! I react with laughter at her instant response. I think that's the first time I've seen you flustered. Alright, maybe I should just throw the postcard in the trash. Wait, please, I'm sorry. Hmm, I hope you are. Built on. Anyway, I actually have to get going soon. I know you have nothing else to do tomorrow, so let's meet up somewhere in the afternoon. That way I can give the postcard to you. And you also promised to let me borrow your manga volumes. That can be how you repay me. I pull out my phone to check the time. I actually have to get going soon as well. I can miss Mana's stream tonight. But still, just letting you borrow manga for that postcard doesn't sound like a fair trade. You're right, I'll throw in some money as well. As must say, I would like some extra money. I still want to repay you back somehow in the future. I'm fine, if it's just for the sake of making yourself feel better, then sure. Anyway, give me your contact so I can tell you where to meet. <laughs> did they somehow low-key just... Did they literally make a low-key low key a connection within two days? Oh, sure. We prefer a quick exchange of contacts. I'll message you tonight. Alright, sounds good. Will this be your first time messaging a girl? I'll have you know that I have a loving older sister that takes every opportunity to check up on me how I am. I see. How sweet. I guess that answers my questions. Okay, let's go. Oi, don't you just leave after making a gym. 
and just leave after making a job like that. She's already walking away. I catch up to her and we make our way out of the park, back to the way we came. The light breeze and the ample greenery make for a pleasant atmosphere as we walk through the trail. Maybe I should go outside more often. <laughs>